lesson. Lesson three, which is the focus, uh, is prompt engineering, right? And this is becoming a very hot topic nowadays. And you know, recently I have read several places that you know it's only uh, you know one of it's, it's it's one of the very important skills which is in very very high demand. Um, recently, where uh, people have been looking for prompt engineering skill sets. Okay, so let's discuss this topic and let's try to delve into a little bit more. Uh, assuming that you are a beginner in this this topic. Okay. So what we'll cover in this lesson uh, is essentially different concepts of program prompt engineering, and we'll try to see what are the what is prompt engineering, what are the different concepts related to uh, prompt engineering, and we will also uh, try to see uh, you know what, how to systematically think about prompt engineering in general. Then we will talk about some principles of effective prompt engineering. We will talk about two different frameworks, a framework that I have devised and then a framework that I was able to locate in the literature and see how to systematically break down when you're using prompt engineering principles with interface like ChatGPT. And finally, it's very important for us to, you know, always look into bias and ethical consideration of using this tool. So I will also try to give you an example or how things should be, you know, put forward in prompt sense when you're looking for, you know, answers from interfaces like ChatGPT. So let's get started. And first thing that I want to cover is like, what is prompt engineering, right? So prompt engineering involves creating queries or input known as prompts for language models and interfaces such as ChatGPT, where the aim is essentially, um, where the aim is essentially focused on, uh, you know, obtaining the most precise, coherent, and relevant responses. One thing that I want to begin with emphasizing that there is no perfect prompt, and the reason why there is no perfect prompt for a given task is because of the underlying technology that is in there in the chat GPT. If you recall in the lesson one, we discussed about the basic technology behind uh, chat GPT is, you know, is essentially a deep learning models. And behind that, uh, the key idea is uh, at the very broad level that, you know, given a you know, set of words, in fact, given a set of tokens, the words could be broken down into tokens, uh, chat GPT probabilistically predict what should be the next token or next word, right? Now, since this is a probabilistic model, so even with a single prompt that you provide, if you run the model or if you ask the interfacer like chat GPT, it will give you a variation, a different variation of answer, right? So in that setting, since this is a probabilistic model, you will never get a precise answer. So even with the same prompt at multiple different time or one after another, you will get different responses from chat, uh, chat GPT. And this is why, you know, I, you know, the pursuit of perfect prompting is never possible in this framework. But why we need prompt engineering is because we want to at least get the best out of this probabilistic model that is underlying, that is the engine behind interfaces like large language models and chat GPT. And, and so can we be systematic about it and can we you know, have some principles set which could help us elicit better responses from interfaces such as ChatGPT. And that whole context and the whole idea is essentially the key idea behind the prompt engineering. Why prompt engineering is important, right? First, most important aspect about uh, you know, prompt engineering, it, it helps you in control and precision of the output, right? So prompt engineering allows you to, users to have more of control over the prompt, right? Input, it's a model, so when you provide input, it will give you output. So if your control, if your input is structured and controlled, you will have a lot more precision and control on the output that you are going to get out of the probabilistic model underlying uh, chat GPT. Okay. Second is task relevance, right? So effective prompts guide you know, NLP models or natural language process models to provide responses that are relevant to a task or a question at hand. So you might be looking for a specific answers or specific information on a specific topic and if you're more structured about it you can get better output or the output which is more relevant to your task again obviously uh, user experience is you know better when you have a systematic prompt engineering based approach of interacting 
with this kind of interfaces. So if you use your experience with using interfaces like ChatGPT is going to be increased. And finally, as I mentioned, bias mitigation is also a very important topic. Uh, we need to be careful in our prompt engineering and the prompts that we are providing so that we can mitigate the bias in the AI models and responses. Sometimes, you know, ChatGPT is also collecting data from the users about what responses to provide and we can be you know systematically providing the inputs uh, and the output that is and provide feedback to chat gpt so that it also minimizes the bias that is inherent in some of the machine learning model because of the training data that goes into training so that training data is massively biased and that leads to some of the biases the output right so we can control and we can do a bias mitigation by doing suitable prompt engineering so those are you know sort of main reasons uh, why you want to be focusing about uh, you know prompting